Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about our truth treatment products, longevity products, if you have a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products, you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase Young Jeffy products right off the website, or you can call the Bright Side Ben team, 866-735-2470, and purchase Young Jeffy products. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team. Call 866-735-2470 for more information. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business, be in business for yourself, earn thank you checks associated with having your own business right off your home office, and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Eight, uh, 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for the Brightside Ben phone team. And you can purchase Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com or Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, and our award-winning Truth Transdermal Sea Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine. Now our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist, made with fulvic minerals, plant-derived fulvic minerals, as well as high aluronic acid, lactate, and amino acids. All our Truth Treatment products are up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We have been talking about the essential sugars, technically not essential. We can make the sugars ourselves. All the sugars, the so-called essential sugars, can be made in the liver from glucose. If you're dealing with liver disease, that may not happen as well as it should. So it's always a, it's always a good idea to make sure that you have a steady uh, flow of glyconutrients coming in through the, through the diet. They're not essential. The word essential in nutrition means you have to have it in the diet or you die. An essential nutrient is a nutrient that must come in uh, through the diet orally. You can't make it. And if you don't have enough of it, you die. If you don't have enough of it, you get sick first, and then gradually sicker and sicker and sicker, and then you die. And this is what it means when we, this is what we mean when we say nutritional deficiencies are behind degenerative and long-term chronic diseases. It's that When you start to be deficient in an essential nutrient, you start to manifest the signs that we call sickness, sickness, degenerative sickness. It's not like nutrients are the direct cause, nutritional deficiency is always going to be the only cause that's associated with with a disease. It's not, let me rephrase that. It's not like you can just take a nutritional supplement and get better. There's a lot of factors that are involved. Nonetheless, nutritional deficiencies lead to chronic degenerative diseases. And then we get progressively worse and worse and worse until we finally die. When you don't have enough of a nutrient that's said to be essential, you'll die. Now, essential sugars aren't in that category. 
Although it's a good idea to keep a steady stream of these things coming in through the, through the diet, through veggies and algae and seaweed and eggs and mushrooms. Mushrooms are one of all-time great ways to get these glyconutrients. Mushrooms, you can tell mushroom, mushrooms have uh, lots of glyconutrients because when you squeeze them, they have a squishy quality. That squishy quality is glyconutrients. When a food has a squishy quality, it's going to have micronutrients. And mushrooms are squishy. And they're loaded with glyconutrients. One of, the, one of the best mushrooms is actually not even a mushroom. It's said to be a mushroom, but it's really technically not a mushroom. It's something called Cordyceps sinensis. You may have heard of this. Cordyceps, C-O-R-D-Y-C-E-P-S, Cordyceps, technically Cordyceps sinensis. Cordyceps uh, has been around as a healing, uh, a healing medicine, I guess you'd say, for f- uh, 5,000 years since... Uh, it was ancient Chinese text, medical textbooks. The Chinese were hip to medicine and pharmacology and acupuncture and healing the body 5,000 years ago. That was, you know, 3,000 BC when there was nothing in Europe but uh, Neanderthals, not Neanderthals, but, but cavemen. Chinese were doing uh, surgeries and were using acupuncture and were uh, coming up with all kinds of herbs, including marijuana, by the way, medicinal herbs, and they were really big on cordyceps. So cordyceps is not really a mushroom, but it's a fungus. Very interesting fungus, actually. Cordyceps grows parasitically off caterpillars and bugs and worms. It's like a, a worm parasite or an insect parasite. Technically classified as a mushroom, but it's really, it's really a, it, it digests the bug. And it turns the bug into stuff, into food for itself. It's kind of interesting, if a little creepy. Anyway, cordyceps is uh, said to be a yang tonic, Y-A-N-G, yang tonic. That means it supports energy. Chinese had this yin and yang thing, and uh, yang tonics support energy. Yin tonics would calm you down. So uh, cordyceps is said to be a yang tonic. So it's used for energy, for stamina, for athletic performance, for organ function, upregulating organ function. You'll find cordyceps in a lot of adaptogenic, uh, adaptogenic formulas. And adaptogen is an herb that has an ability to calm things down if it needs to be calmed down or speed things up if it needs to be sped up and has this intelligence associated with it. It's like a stress management substance. And cordyceps is in a lot of stress management formulas. You'll get, you can get cordyceps in Longevity's nine, uh, uh, Mu 911 formula. Mu 911, it's like an immune booster with vitamin C and zinc and uh, something called beta-glucan, which we talked a little bit about in the past. We'll probably talk more about it because beta-glucan is another saccharide that stimulates the immune system. And by the way, mushrooms and cordyceps are also great source of beta-glucan. If you're coming down with a, uh, if you're coming down with a cold or if you get cold sores or if you just want to keep your immune system strong and healthy, immune 911, immune 911 is a supplement that you might want to consider using. If you're dealing with an autoimmune disease, God forbid if you have cancer, immune 911, again, it will support the immune system. You can get cordyceps powder Again, that's cordyceps, C-O-R-D-Y-C-E-P-S. You can get cordyceps powder. Um, you can get it off the internet. You get it at health food stores, uh, market it as add-ins. Put a little scoop or a little teaspoonful of cordyceps in your coffee. Bump up your coffee's uh, nutritional power. You make your coffee into an immune drink. You put it in smoothies, soups, yogurt. I like one called Moon Juice. You can get that on the internet, Moon Juice. And uh, there's another one which I don't know a lot about, but I've seen called are made by a company called Sun, po- uh, Sun Potion, I believe. Sun Potion, uh, that's, I don't know, I can't speak to it. I haven't, I haven't used it, but I've used Moon Juice, and that's pretty interesting. It doesn't taste all that great, but interesting way to bump up the nutritional value of your morning coffee. According to traditional healers, cordyceps improves energy. It's good for your appetite, libido, endurance. It can help regulate your sleeping patterns. And in Asia, it's got a reputation for being a longevity a longevity-inducing botanical, a fungal, non-mushroom mushroom. A list of claims made in ancient medical texts for the benefits of cordyceps include ED, increased longevity, aphrodisiac, uh, infertility. It's been used to treat tuberculosis. This is all uh, historically in Chinese medical texts. Liver disease, kidney disease, heart disease, chronic pain, diabetes, jaundice, coughs and colds, etc., I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will be back right after this. All 
right, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. have all the longevity products. You can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off the website as well, off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, and... You can also call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, if you want to speak to a real live human being about the longevity products or the longevity business. Love to have you as a member of my team, the Brightside Ben team, for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself, and we can help you grow your business as well. We can do three-way phone calls for you. Of course, we're always available to do phone calls. If you uh, send an email to ben at ksco.com and put your phone number in there, we will get back to you with uh, information about the longevity products or health challenges that you or a loved one may be dealing with. You can also give us a call today at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, or a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with. All right, so uh, we're talking cordyceps, cordyceps sinensis, technically, the non-mushroom mushroom. I'm not sure why it's classified as a mushroom, but uh, it is classified as a mushroom, although technically it's not. It's been known about for thousands of years, 5,000 years or so, according to researchers writing in the January 2011 issue of the Journal of Ayurvedic and Integral Medicine. Cordyceps has been shown to help liver function if you're dealing with uh, liver disease, stimulate energy metabolism in the liver, stimulate the immune functioning of the liver, improve detoxification of the liver, improve kidney function. This is all, uh, this is all meta, uh, peer-reviewed stuff. This is not just ancient Chinese textbooks. This is from uh, a, peer-reviewed, a peer-reviewed, well-respected peer-reviewed journal. Cordyceps has been shown to improve steroid function, improve the uh, function of uh, steroid hormones, improve heart health, Inhibit blood clotting and clogging. There's a lot of benefits, folks. Anti-cancer benefits, sterols and uh, uh, glucosides, which are, are chemicals or molecules that are involved in, uh, in helping protect the body from cancer, are, are, are modified. It helps modify the immune system in general. All kinds of health benefits from this stuff. It's really pretty relatively cheap. You can get it on, you can get it on the Internet. You can get it in Longevity products in the Immune 911 from Longevity. Cordyceps is a parasitic fungus. It eats the shells of insects, basically, and it digests the... Remember, the shells of insects... Well, I talked about this a long time ago, actually. The shells of insects are made up of these polysaccharides, these sugars. And so there's some nutritional value in the shells of these insects. And it turns out that insect shells have some really interesting properties, health properties, anti-arthritis properties, shrimp shells. Save your shrimp shells. Your shrimp, shrimp shells are a great source of these sugars, these, these uh, um, so-called essential sugars. If you take the shrimp shells and leave them in something acidic for a while, the sugars will break down and you'll get a really nice nutritional, nutritional uh, supplement. You make your own nutritional supplement. Save your shrimp shells and put them in soups. And then you, know, you may want to filter them out afterwards, but the sugars will break down and uh, you'll bump up the nutritional value of your soup and get shrimp flavor as well you're not a vegetarian. One of those sugars that's in uh, shrimp shells and in insect shells that a uh, cordyceps digest is something called NAG or NAG. And this stuff is amazing. N-acetyl glucosamine. It's a type of glucosamine, supposedly one of the so-called eight essential sugars. And it is mm, probably my favorite of the eight essential sugars just because it's got so much healing power. It's really an incredible wound healer. It's one of the main reasons why aloe vera, which is very high in NAG, is such a good uh, wound healer for the, for the digestive system. NAG soothes and coats the digestive tract. It stimulates the immune system in the digestive tract, and it also helps build tissue. These polysaccharides stimulate, uh, they do a couple things. They stimulate growth, and they stimulate the immune system. They make the immune system more active, not necessarily in a bad way. In strength, they strengthen, I won't say act, they strengthen the immune system. And NAG is actually turned into glucosamine. Everybody knows about glucosamine. Glucosamine is an arthritis supplement, so NAG will get you glucosamine, great for your joints, great for arthritis. Other essential sugars, mannose is supposed to be good for, uh, for urinary tract infections, fucose. 
which is a part of Fucoidin. Fucoidin being one of the all-time great ways to get your essential or to get an essential sugar, and the benefits of Fucoidin and the Fucoid Z are pretty much endless. The, these sugar trees, this glycocalyx, which is what these sugars make up, give the cell a sort of slimy coating, and this slimy coating is made up of a combination of protein and sugars, called proteoglycans. Polysaccharides and proteoglycans. I hope that's not too sciencey because they're really, really important when it comes to health. Proteoglycans and polysaccharides. Fucoidin C is just one of the mo one of the best all-time great health tonics. I call it a health tonic, blood tonic or health tonic. It's specifically important for the blood because there's lots of these sugar sugar trees on your on your blood cells. It's one of the reasons why blood cells clot. It's one of the reasons where the eat right for your diet came from. They, they watched what clotted blood cells. Blood, clot, blood cell clotting is a function of the glycocalyx, largely. So the fucoid Z is a blood tonic because it helps stabilize this glycocalyx on red blood cells. It helps protect it. Mucusy things protect the glycocalyx. The glycocalyx itself is made up of, of mucus. That's why you want to eat mucus. Mucus is good. Now, if you're secreting lots of mucus in response to an allergic, in response to an, something you're eating, obviously that's that's not necessarily, it's not good that you're secreting mucus, but it's good that you're secreting mucus because it's protecting you. If you're secreting mucus, that's a sign that the immune system has been activated, which is not necessarily a good thing, but it's a good thing because you're being protected. That's why you don't want to take these drugs that suppress mucus. There's a commercial now for a cough syrup that suppresses mucus. You don't want to be suppressing mucus. You want to figure out why the mucus is being secreted. The body likes to slime things away. The slime of these sugars, the slime of the, uh, uh, on top of the cells has a protective function. And when we're really being attacked, the body will pump out slime, mucus. Mucus is a type of sugar. Mucus is made up of protein sugar complexes. Mucus is what used to be called technically mucopolysaccharide. Now they call them GAGs. GAG stands for glycosaminoglycans. We'll just call them GAGs. And the, these GAGs are mucus-like substances slimy substances. The most, the, the classic and the most abundant of the GAGs in the body is something called chondroitin. And everybody's heard of chondroitin. Chondroitin got really popular in the 1990s along with its building block, glucosamine. All the GAGs have a, a, an essential sugar, like a, a, an essential sugar seed in them, a nugget of an essential sugar. And the essential sugar in chondroitin is called glucosamine. And that's why you always see glucosamine and chondroitin together in arthritis supplements. The chondroitin's got its own benefits. The chondroitin is a GAG, and eating GAG is the most abundant GAG in the body. And, and uh, eating GAGs is a great way to support your GAGs, just like eating collagen is a great way to support your collagen. So chondroitin on its own helps build connective tissue. It's found in great abundance in connective tissue. And then the glucosamine, when the chondroitin gets broken down, the glucosamine also has an effect. And, and a lot of nutrition, well, it's pretty much standard practice to mix the two together, to mix chondroitin and glucosamine together. All of your GAGs have a little element of sugar in there. And when you have your, uh, when you take chondroitin and glucosamine together, you get kind of a one-two punch for cartilage building. And remember, it's not just cartilage in, it's not just connective tissue in the uh, joints. It's also connective tissue in the blood vessels that will benefit when you start using these, uh, these glucosamine and chondroitin supplements. All right, we'll take a break and come back with more good health information on the Bright Side right after this. back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844 is our number, and we do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010. Talking about the essential sugars, these, these things called GAGs, chondroitin being the classic GAG. One of my all-time favorite GAGs, maybe one of my all-time favorite molecules of all, something called high hyaluronic acid, which I absolutely love, and we're going to be talking about high hyaluronic acid. It's a GAG with a, little, with a little nag seed. All the GAGs have a little seed of sugar, of essential sugar in them. The seed of chondroitin is glucosamine. The seed of high hyaluronic acid is nag, and that makes high hyaluronic acid stupendously valuable. I mean, it's just unbelievably valuable internally. Topically, you're not going to, a lot of skincare products will use hyaluronic acid or try to take advantage of hyaluronic acid's buzz and well-known uh, health, health giving properties topically, but you don't really get that many, you don't, you don't get the really good benefits from hyaluronic acid topically. 
And now you can, of course, get high hyaluronic acid injections, but you're not going to really get the benefit of the high hyaluronic acid unless you eat it. And that's why it's one of the best supplements you could ever take. You, you could get foods, of course, uh, mushrooms are, are the classic high hyaluronic acid rich food, but you can get a, you can, the best way to get your high, high hyaluronic acid is to make sure you're taking it, taking it uh, orally. It is a little bit pricey, but well worth it. We'll talk about high hyaluronic acid on our next Bright Side episode as we continue talking about the glycocalyx and the essential sugars and the derivatives. There's so much going on here. It all started out when we were talking about skincare and glycolic acid. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Let's see here. Get to a couple stories, and then we'll get your calls. Uh, bah, bah. This is from JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Dietary factors associated with a substantial proportion of deaths from heart disease, stroke, and disease. Nearly half of all deaths due to heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes in the United States were associated with suboptimal consumption of certain dietary factors, according to a study in the March 7th issue of JAMA. No kidding. Where have you heard this before? It's a key player in all health issues, nutritional deficiencies. Dietary habits influence many risk factors for cardiometabolic health, including heart disease, stroke, and type 2, diabetes, di- type 2 diabetes, which collectively pose substantial health and economic burdens in the, in the United States. I go further. I say they don't just influence, they're the result of, or the cause of. Dietary habits are the cause of these diseases. This is so important because we think that when we have diabetes, we got to take a, a drug. We got to get medicalized. We got to go to the doctor. We don't. If you have diabetes, it is none of the doctor's business. It has nothing to do with the doctor. It has to do with food. That's a classic example. Really all health issues, but the classic example is diabetes, which via metabolic syndrome affects almost all chronic long-term degenerative diseases. Get yourself on the sweeties. Reduce your intake of fast-burning sugars. I know it's, you know, I know it's simple. I know it, it's simple, but it's not easy because of the, we're addicted to these things. Neurochemistry, brain chemistry, and addictive chemistry is tied into sugar. And uh, food companies know this. Food manufacturers know good and well that we can't resist it. That's how Starbucks became a, a trillion, a, a hundred billion dollar company. I, I, don't, I don't really know how much Starbucks has sold, but it's a very big company because of the sugar and the caffeine. Chocolate companies, Mars, food companies, Nestle's, these are all, they're all the biggest companies in the world, largely because we're addicted to sugar because of our neurochemistry. And if you add in the whole grains thing, one of the ma- not the only reason, but one of the major reasons we're addicted to grains is because of the sugar. You can see what sugar's doing to us. But it's not necessarily our faults. At the same time, it represents a point of leverage for power, for control over our bodies. It's not like you want to beat yourself up and force yourself and feel guilty about things. It's just know that you have an option. The option to diabetes, the option to metabolic syndrome, the option to the terrible side effects or, uh, that are associated with diabetes, including blindness and amputation and neuropathy, the alternative to the drugs that you have to take for diabetes is lowering your sugar intake and getting on the sweeties. It's not complicated. It is not complicated. It's very simple. There's only two reasons why blood sugar goes up, and that's food and cortisol, period. Control your food, relax your body. Those are your first two. It's interesting because those, the, the, those are the three points of the triangle of disease right there. You deal with your diabetes by working, which is point two, by working on point one and point three. Simple as that. All right, 844 is our number. I'm Farmer. This is Ben. Let's go to Richard in Florida. Good morning, Richard. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, pharmacist Ben. I'm a uh, 62-year-old male with stage four kidney disease. Okay. And and that's why my doctor will not and cannot prescribe diuretics. Okay. But I'm also looking for something to reduce the uh, water retention. Well, you got to work on your kidneys because you you can't you can't if you try to force your body to lose fluid and you got stage four kidney disease, which is advanced kidney damage. Um, you're not. That's not good. That's not a good thing. You got to strengthen. You got to work on your kidneys. Now, what's with? Dia- are you not going to do dialysis, or are you doing dialysis? I'm not doing dialysis. In fact, he wants me to go see a nephrologist, but I don't want to. And uh, I think listening to you, I think I could attack this. Uh, okay. In 
to you guys, away. You, well, you guys, the, the blood sugar is the first thing. The kidneys become damaged when the, the blood becomes, when the blood is filled with sugar and, and sugar damaging proteins. That's when the kidneys become damaged. That's why kidney, kidney, kidneys are, are, have got uh, probably thousands of miles of blood vessels in them. Certainly, I'm sure it's in the thousands. They're, ty- they're very, very, very tiny blood vessels that are wrapped around really, really tight and small. And they're very readily damaged. That's why nature has seen fit, or God, or however you want to put it, has seen fit to give us two kidneys. Because, first of all, it's so darn important. And second of all, because it's, it makes sense that the kidneys could get damaged because of these tiny little blood vessels, especially if we don't eat correctly. And, and the fact is, is until you're in stage four, you, know, you're, you can function pretty well. Even in stage four, you're sitting here talking to me, and that's considered to be advanced kidney disease. So, mm-hmm. so the kidneys are very, very resilient. By the time you're in stage four, however, you've done, you've done a number on your kidneys, usually around sugar. So I'm guessing that you got a sugar problem, diabetes, if not frank, blatant, diagnosed diabetes. You definitely have a blood sugar problem, and that's really where you want to work first and foremost. Keep your sugar down. Treat yourself like a diabetic. If you have any food intolerances, and the, the odds are very, very good that you do, food intolerances or leaky gut syndrome will cause the dep- deposition of tiny little particles of food and immune system, immune complexes in the kidneys. And that can also mess things up. Not to mention the fact that, that when we're toxic, the body will tend to dump things out in the connective tissue, including kidney connective tissue, and that will also mess things up. But what I'm saying to you here is the problem starts at the level of the digestive system and, and sugar. And that's where you want to work. Now, there are also what nutrients. About, that are, Go ahead. What about this thing you were just talking about, the fun? The, fun, the cordyceps? The not a mushroom? Yeah. Yeah, it's called cordyceps. The mushroom that's not a mushroom? Uh, it's called cordyceps? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't hurt you. But you, you're... Your uh, your problems are bigger than just cordyceps. They're, they're and they're significant too. You got to really be doing something about this. You're, are you? Uh, what's your height to weight? Oh, I'm uh, two, oh. Two, two, two thirty and I'm, uh, I'm five six. You got right bingo right there. You got to lose the weight quickly. Okay. Yeah, you definitely got to lose the weight. Hang on, we'll finish up. I got a couple more things I want to tell you about nutrition, about supplements. Don't go away. I'm pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010. We got lines open for you. We're talking to Richard in Florida. Richard, my friend, you got to yes, work sir. on that blood sugar. That's the most important thing. And then, and then also, the, you probably have some whacked out digestive issues. You've got to be constipated. You got to really work on the intestine and, and on the blood sugar. That's your major source. Your major source of trouble is probably the cause of your trouble. Uh, the second thing, the, the next thing is you should probably get on a good nutritional supplement program. Uh, people who have kidney problems typically are going to be uh, have problems with the B vitamins. I'd be taking mega doses of the B vitamins. Beyond tangy tangerine is a good source of B vitamins. You might want to just go to uh, the health food store and get a B100 capsule and do them uh, do a B100 capsule throughout the day. Vegetable juices, probably great for you. The fiber in the vegetable juices, great for the digestive system. And you'll also get electrolytes and B vitamins. Zinc is probably, I'd be getting 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. Get on the ultimate selenium. That's probably a good idea. And then also uh, the nightly essence. Uh, I, and then if you want to throw one more thing, my favorite blood tonic, which we were talking about earlier, and that is, uh, and that is uh, the Fucoid Z. Fucoid Z. Correct. Okay, Richard, God bless you, my friend. Good luck with everything. But you really, 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 really want to take care of your blood sugar, and, and you'll know that you're on the right track when you start to lose some weight. Okie doke. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. God bless you. Good luck. All right, let's go to Nevada and say good morning to Robert. How you doing, Robert? Yeah, I'm doing well uh, as far as Ben Fuchs. Take, uh, thanks for taking my call. Appreciate it. Uh, sure. Let me say uh, a big thank you for doing what you do. Your knowledge on nutrition and the human body is uh, obscene. You should probably be teaching at the CU Boulder. You could teach those things. A few, uh, thing oh, or thank so, you. Uh, I appreciate that. Right? Thank you to Ben Fuchs. No okay. worries. Let's talk water, H2O. So yes. in Las Vegas, uh, Clark County, I have the pleasure of being exposed to some of the worst tasting tap water known to is that man. Right? It okay. really, really tastes horrible. I've been Isn't told it from, that they removed the nutrient. Where does the water come from in Vegas? Lake Mead, Colorado River. So why is it so bad? Great 
question. According to my source uh, where I purchased my water, she says the city removes the nutrient. Maybe that's true. Maybe it isn't. But uh, well, anyway, how do they remove? What do you mean? What do you mean? They filter the nutrients? I, okay. I, I guess. Okay, I have gotcha. no idea. But okay. at any rate, uh, she and her family purchased a store, water store, and they take tap water, put nutrients back into it, filter it, and it tastes really, really good. However, it comes out alkaline. And she sells it as such. And it's really good taste water. I love it. I was talking to a buddy of mine who says, no, Robert, you don't want alkaline water. It messes up your digestive juices, and it just isn't good for anyway. So um, where does Ben Fuchs fall on well, water, alkaline? Yeah. Where, where are you? You're not gonna, your digestive juices, they need to be acidic, but your digestive juices will definitely overwhelm the water. Uh, when you say alkaline, I mean, it typically means slightly seven one, alkaline. Seven two, something like yeah, that. exactly. Very, very slightly alkaline. That's not going to, your stomach juices are designed to be able to, to be overwhelm that. That's not going to be a problem. Um, if you know, if you, if you're doing something like really real, something really alkaline, that might be an issue like baking soda, but just 7.1 probably isn't going to do that. Um, but it's not going to have, a, it's not going to go either way. It's not gonna have a good effect or bad effect. 7.0 is, is distilled water. That's neutral. Um, mm-hmm. that's pretty, that's, I like distilled water personally, and then you can add your okay. nutrients some other way. Uh, I don't think, I wouldn't okay. worry about 7.1 for, that's pretty darn close to neutral. And your blood is 7.38 yeah, I, I, anyway. Yeah, and I don't know if that's the exact number, that's just something I made up, but I, I mean, mm. it doesn't taste alkaline, it, but it tastes damn good. I just can't drink tap water in Las Vegas, that's my issue. That's I try to stay away from tap water everywhere, but I didn't know Vegas was especially bad. That's, that's interesting. In my humble opinion, it is. And if anyone's listening to my voice, they can call in to verify that. But uh, So you're good either way. You don't have an issue, but you, nah. but you would choose distilled. Dist- I that, always do distilled are. or reverse osmosis is also good, but distilled is just easier to get. So I do distilled, but okay. reverse osmosis is good. What you want to stay away from is tap water. You're right on 100%, and that's not just in Vegas. That's everywhere if you can avoid tap oh. water. But you know what, Robert? There's tap water in soup. There's tap water in everything that you get that's a liquid. There's tap water right. in chicken. You know, there's and tap ice. water on your produce. On there's on tap on water. On. Yeah, it's impossible yeah. to avoid it. So you just want to yeah. minimize your intake of it. Okay? That, that makes perfect sense. Thanks, bud. Keep Thank good you, work. Robert. God bless. All right, have a great day. Bye. God bless you. All right, uh, Ron in Minnesota, good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. How's it going, Ben? Yes, what's going on? Uh, not much. A friend of mine, he had stomach cancer about a year ago or so, and then he had um, surgery taken out, and he got him on some type of hormones, or maybe it's a cancer kill, I guess, or maybe even shot. I'm, I'm having a hard time here, Ron, I'm, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Can you speak, either, if I'm on speaker, get me off, or speak a little, no. a little bit better. Start okay. start again. That was just a bunch of mumble. I couldn't really understand it sounding like mumbling. Well, t- okay. uh, ask, ask yeah. me, that, that's a little bit better. Go ahead. Okay, a friend of mine had uh, stomach cancer, and then he had he's in, um, let's see, uh, early 60s, so probably 61. Okay. And then they had to, took the cancer out, I guess, and then they have, or chemo, and then they had the, um, oh, yeah, I guess they took the cancer out, too. Anyways, so then they, you get hot flashes. Uh, what could he do for those? He's on some type of shot he gets every few months. Is, is he on it? Yeah, I, I wonder what the medication is that he's on. Uh, hot flashes are a sign of body and duress, calm the body down, but it's, it's understandable. His body's been through the war, so to speak, you know, after you have cancer. Uh, basically, you just want to strengthen the body. I'm sure he's got other problems as well. I mean, stomach cancer, it doesn't, even if they get rid of the cancer, it leaves a mark. So he's probably got some other health challenges. Be very kind and loving to the body. This is how you deal with all cancer, whether you're dealing with, whether you have it or whether you've just gotten surgery to have it removed or if you're going through chemo, you've got it. The bot, cancer is a sign of the body freaking out. So you've got to calm the body down and make it strong. And that's basically what this guy, the strategy this guy has to use. Calm his body down, make it strong. I'd be using the NAG that we talked about. You might want to tell him about the uh, cordyceps. I'd be using high hyaluronic acid, all the sugars that we just talked about, aloe vera. Uh, eat as little as possible, only when he absolutely needs to eat as much liquid food as possible to reduce the load on the digestive system. Uh, you may want to consider using something called uh, a, a licorice root, which is an herb, and slippery elm, which is another herb that has a coating and soothing quality. Algaes and seaweed, again, the coating and soothing quality can be very helpful for the whole GI tract. Uh, lots of nutrients that, sp- that speed up healing. Zinc is very important for speeding up healing. You might want to consider amino acids, in particular something called arginine, which is very important for speeding up healing. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, vitamin C, absolutely. Get them on the Healthy Start Pack the ultimate EFAs for sure. 
And then uh, uh, chicken soup, homemade chicken soup with not for lots of reasons. Number one, homemade chicken soup has got those mucilaginous slimy substances that can help uh, regenerate tissue in the, in the intestinal tract, but also protein is very important. This is anybody dealing with a broken down GI system is very likely to be deficient in protein and you can't rebuild the body with, without protein. So liquid protein is a great way to bypass any breakdown in the intestinal problem because the liquid aminos go relatively right to work. And the body doesn't have to process them and digest them like it does a, a, a piece of steak or hamburger or some kind of complex protein that takes a lot of digestive work. So bone soup is a great way to get liquid protein, but also smoothies, protein smoothies. Now he may have an issue with whey protein. If he does, then avoid it, but if he doesn't, it's the best. It's a, the best building protein in terms of powders is whey protein. Not everybody can do it. I understand this. And if you can't, you can't. But if you can do whey protein smoothies, that'd be awesome. You know, Jeffy's got a whole bunch of good whey protein products, including the Keto FX and the Slender FX. Uh, so you might want to think about those. And then uh, let's see, eggs. Don't forget eggs. V slimy and also protein. Great source of protein. Great source of building protein and also slimy. The whole cholesterol complex, by the way can be very helpful for building, and you'll find that in organ meats, also fish, as well as in eggs, on the, what I call the cholesterol complex, which is loaded with uh, things like vitamin A and vitamin K and lecithin, as well as cholesterol, very important, very important for building. How old is this gentleman? Uh, 61. Oh, he's 61? Right, yep. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's a young man. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, Ron. Uh, good luck with everything. Yeah. I hope I helped you. Get, yeah, get him on the Healthy Start. If nothing else, get him on the Healthy Start Pack. Did you want to ask something else? Yeah. yeah. They said you can't have any of those uh, vegetables, like cauliflower and broccoli and all that stuff. He can't eat those? Yeah. He can't, can't eat those? Dinners. Yeah, the cruciferous vegetables? You know, how does he know? I, I, I'm not con Sometimes people think they can't eat them, but they can. So I'm not saying he can or he can't. Sometimes you can't eat them uh, because they are, as we were talking about yesterday, they're pretty active and people have problems with these uh, sugars that are sometimes found in the in these kinds of fruits in these kinds of vegetables. So I, I understand if you can't do it, but but check to be absolutely sure because they're so valuable and they're so important for healing and hormone balancing and a lot of other things. Uh, it's a shame it'd be a shame for him not to be able to use them, especially cabbage, which has got something in it called vitamin U, which is really really very helpful for the uh, for the digestive tract for the intestine specifically, also for the. For the stomach, vitamin U stands for vitamin ulcer. It's not really a vitamin. It's a phytonutrient, but it's been used for uh, helping the digestive system. Got to go, Ron. Thank you so much for your call. Good luck with, uh, with your buddy, and I hope that uh, helped you out. Thanks for your call, and thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out my website. It's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for all our, truth, all our truth skin health products. And that's it for now. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.